How's it going shoppers? Today we're gonna to be talking about 10 scams that you need to avoid as an Instacart shopper. I've been doing this for a little over two years now and I've been scammed myself before. It's even happened to some of my friends in our Discord server and I've just seen it all over Reddit. So I think we have a pretty good list. And even if you've been doing Instacart for a while, I think there's a few things on here that you could at least learn from and benefit from. I figured that since our last video like this did so well that I'd make another because after all, half of you guys subscribe to my channel to learn more about Instacart. So with all that being said, let's switch to my car where I was waiting for an order. So I figured I'd just record it out there. All right, so number one are the bot scammers on social media. If you guys have been watching my channel for some time, you guys have probably seen them in my comment section. I had to hide hundreds of users because of this. Basically, these scammers will take someone's YouTube channel and steal it from them and then use that to comment. So it looks like a legit person, but in reality, it's just a copy and paste comment and they're trying to get you to go to their Instagram to pay them for this Instacart bot. Some of these bots aren't even real and they'll just take your money and disappear, but the few real ones do require a weekly or monthly pay just to continue using the bot. It's not something you get for free. It's more like they take part of your income every single week or month. So by the time you pay them all that extra money, is it even worth it? I would guess not. All right, number two is incorrect addresses. Now, some people will do this on purpose and then some people just legitimately forget to change your address when they order Instacart. The reason why you would not want to actually deliver to an address that is not on the app is because Instacart is not able to track where you are delivering to. So normally if someone says that they're missing their entire order, Instacart could go back and look at your GPS coordinates and see that you were actually at their house and dropped it off. Now, if you deliver to a different address, like an address that they text you instead of the one on the app, Instacart will not be able to confirm that you delivered it and then you're gonna be held responsible for that and you could even get your account terminated. So the best thing you can do in that situation is to just cancel the order, unfortunately. Either way, it's a no win when that happens because you might get a 24 hour soft ban while they look into it, but at least you're not gonna be banned for life. All right, so number three are those hand me customers that never seem to actually come out of their house. A lot of people select hand me because it actually makes the shopper and Instacart responsible for theft of groceries versus if you select leave at door, you are responsible for the theft. And also sometimes Instacart just defaults to hand me. Some people do this so that you don't take a picture of the delivery as well. So if they want to report everything missing, you have no proof to back it up. So make sure even for those hand me customers to take a picture and then knock on the door and see if they're there so that you can give them the order. Just make sure that you guys always get proof. You could go into your GPS, screenshot where you're at, but Instacart should be able to see that anyways and take a picture of all the items so that if they do commit any sort of fraud, you are safe. All right, so number four, do not text or call numbers in the description. Always use the Instacart app to call people or text because if you text someone, they will see your real number that your Instacart account is linked to and they might be able to hack it and get into it. And this is also where I think those bot scammers get the accounts to give out. So what you can do, if you think it's a legitimate person and not a scammer, I would still suggest downloading an app like this. It basically gives you a second phone number to text from and you guys can do this for free. You just may have to rotate your number every once in a while but it's a very good way to protect yourself from losing your account on those type of orders. All right, and number five are those signature orders. And what I mean by that is sometimes you guys will do a Costco order and they might buy like a laptop or something. And those usually require a signature or you have to scan their passport slash ID. Some people will do this and try and get out of the signature. So you just have to make sure not to hand the item over until you get the signature. Because if you hand them the item and forget about that, then they're probably gonna going to report it not delivered and you're going to be in a lot of trouble with Instacart and they're going to get a free MacBook or whatever they're trying to steal. For those type of orders, usually if they placed it on the Instacart app, they will sign on their phone on their app. But if they place the order through Costco, then you'll have to scan their ID. So that's just some to watch out for. A lot of people do that in my area and it was very common a couple months ago. All right, so number six are the people that want you to hand them the receipt. Some of these people want you to give them the receipt so that they 
they could go report the order not delivered and return everything with the receipt to basically get free money. Not everyone does this. I would say most people just don't know better and they just are trying to budget, but it's very important to let your customers know that they will get a digital receipt and that you are not allowed to share this with them. It's actually better for you to keep the receipt because Instacart may need to see that again in the future if the picture of the receipt was blurry or something like that. Also, a little trick that I learned, you guys could send them this picture and let them know that it's an actual rule that Instacart gave you. All right, number seven is something I got scammed with when I first started doing Instacart. I took an order while I was about five minutes away from the store and I immediately got a text. If you deliver this as fast as possible, I will give you an extra tip. So I may have driven there a little faster than normally. I may have gone through some yellow lights that I probably probably should have not. And I may have ran through the entire store to get the order done early. And of course, when I dropped it off to their door, they came out, no extra tip, even though I delivered it early. So I just got played. So that's something to watch out for. From what I've read, most people that say this do not in fact actually give you a bigger tip. Most of them are just trying to rush you so that they could get their groceries faster. All right, so for number eight, never give out your two-factor authentication code. A support agent will never ask you for this. So if you guys get a call from Instacart and they're asking you for this, do not give it out because it is not Instacart. And as soon as they have that code, they're gonna take that account from you and you'll probably never see it again. And this all circles back to point number one, where those scammers will use your account to sell to someone else. All right, and for number nine, make sure you guys always scan the ID for alcohol delivery orders before you set it at their door. Say you set all the groceries down, including the alcohol, and they start picking up all the items and take it into the house before you get the signature or even look at their ID, then there's nothing stopping them from not giving that information out to you and you getting into some serious trouble with Instacart. This happened to me before where I started delivering and this person had an ID that was five years expired so I couldn't actually deliver. And all I can say is I'm really lucky they didn't start taking that order into their house because I would have not been able to return the order like Instacart told me to. So always scan their ID and immediately while you have the alcohol still in your hand. All right, and point number 10 is never give your phone number out, even if they're just asking to tip you extra via Venmo. If you give your phone number out on Venmo, they will now have your phone number and they can try to use that information to steal your account to later sell to someone else. I read the story where this guy was shopping an order and their customer told them that they might have an emergency. He asked the customer if they needed to cancel and they just stopped responding. And then as soon as he went to go deliver, they said that they had to cancel it. But they wanted to be nice and ask for his Venmo so that they could pay him a little for his efforts. So he did this and I believe they got his account because of that. So just be really careful and do not give your phone number out to anyone. That's why using that second phone number is really important and it might save you from losing your Instacart account. So those are my top 10 scams to avoid with Instacart. I hope this video is helpful to you. And if it was, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.